What's up everyone and welcome back to another review and this time we're going to be taking a look at Toy Story 2, the sequel to what was already an awesome movie and we get an awesome sequel. Alright, so I'm going to try and make this review as brief as I possibly can because Toy Story 2, like Toy Story 1, I love it. I have great fond memories of watching this in the movie theaters when it first came out when I was 9 years old. Loved it then, still love it now as an adult. So Toy Story 2, basic plot, Woody gets kidnapped and the gang has to rescue Woody but we also get some details filled in on Woody's backstory. So, we'll take it from there. Let's start off one by one. So, first off, this movie starts off, we see Buzz Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear flying through space, and we're like, whoa, this is different, this is, this is unique, what's going on here? And then, of course, it's revealed that it's actually a video game being played by Rex, which is hilarious stuff. And this, and this, and first off, I like the arc that they give Rex, you know, because Rex's whole thing in this movie is that he's trying to beat, play the game, and he's trying to beat Zerg, but every time he gets to Zerg, he ends up losing. So at the near the end of the movie, where they're trying to rescue Woody, Rex defeats a toy version of Zerg, which, which pretty much you know defined, which pretty much sums up his little arc throughout this movie, which was hilarious and awesome, and I really really like it a lot. So love Rex in this movie. I thought he was hysterical, as he as I always think he is. Uh, of course, we see the introduction. We get the introduction of this movie of Mrs. Potato Head. She's now happily with Mr. Potato Head, and Mr. Potato Head is just as funny as he was in the last movie. Don Riggles is hysterical. Uh, Slinky and Ham, of course, they're always funny. Uh, we get the introductions of Jesse, Bullseye, and Old Stinky Pete the Prospector, who were a part of Woody's Roundup. We find out that Woody was a famous cowboy doll from like the olden days, and it was a big deal, you know, they had merchandise, there's merchandising and stuff like that. And it was part of this whole set. Of course, when the Space Age started, Westerns and Woody fell into obscurity and people forgot about them. And I like how the movie was had like a little bit of a commentary on that, because that happened in real life also. You know, Westerns were very popular, but the Space Age happened and science fiction became all the rage. So I like how you get that little of a real life thing poured into it. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, we also get the introduction of Al, played beautifully by Wayne Knight. I love Wayne out, Wayne Knight as Al, the chicken man, the human villain of the piece. Uh, I love Al. I think Al is so much better than Sid from the first movie. Al is just this bumbling goof who steals Woody because he wants because he wants Woody for his collection. Al is the one who wa wants to sell the collection off for money, and in order for the buyer to have the collection, he needs to have Woody. To have a complete set so he pretty much steals Woody and this whole and the whole movie is the gang trying to save Woody from Al and of course that's where Woody's backstory gets filled in for us which I thought was pretty cool all into itself seeing that Woody was actually a famous toy and that Woody pretty much had no idea about it which is also really cool and Tom Hanks's performance all throughout this movie is fantastic I like the chemistry he has with uh, Joan Cusack who plays Jesse when we first see Jesse she's very high energy very energetic and Joan Cusack gives her a lot of character and a lot of, uh, just a lot of excitement. And when we get to Jesse's backstory, it's actually really, really sad. It's, Jesse has a really sad backstory. She was an abandoned toy. And Joan Cusack's performance telling that story, very heartbreaking, very heart-wrenching. And the actual, and seeing it play out with the, with the music and everything, it'll bring a tear to your eyes. Very depressing, especially if you're somebody who had toys and you gave up to on toys when you got older. You know, it's a, very, it's a very emotional scene to watch. It'll hit you at home. And I liked it a lot. Really good stuff. Uh, of course, you know, Kelsey Grammer voices Stinky Pete. I love Kelsey Grammer as an actor. I think he's great as Stinky Pete. He's very, very funny. I like his calm, soothing voice he gives to the character. And then when we find out and twist that Stinky Pete was, is actually a villain, Kelsey Grammer turns up that villainous role, and she's just having a good time with it, and I like it a lot. And, of course, Bullseye, Woody's trusty steed, Horse. Always fun. They have a lot of funny scenes together, which is great stuff as well. Uh, Tim Allen is Buzz Lightyear. What can I say? Buzz Lightyear is... This movie is hilarious because we get a, we get Buzz Lightyear, you know, Andy's Buzz, seeing Toy Buzz when they go to a toy store. And it's hilarious because Buzz sees how he was in the first movie. And he's just completely like... Ugh. Like, he sees how delusional he was. And he's like... This, this is how I acted. No wonder why they wanted to 
No wonder why they couldn't stand me at first. So I like all that stuff. And Tim Allen going back and forth between real buzz and uh, I, I think I'm the real buzz. I'm and between real buzz and toy buzz is hysterical all throughout. And of course, this movie gives us a twist. It gives us a Star Wars twist. We find out that Zerg is Buzz's dad, which is hysterical because they they actually have a scene of Bu of uh, Toy Buzz and Zerg playing catch, which is hilarious. Uh, so yeah, this movie is fantastic. It's got a lot of good moments in it, and like a lot, and, and it has some pretty you know pretty dark moments. Not like dark as in like this is aggressive. Like dark as in for a like, movie like this is pretty dark, you know. Because at the beginning of the movie, Woody gets his arm ripped off. And he gets shelled, and we get this creepy dream sequence where Andy throws Woody into the trash, and these toys that are in the trash are sucking Woody down into the trash that can themselves. Uh, this movie deals with abandonment, like with Jessie being abandoned by her owner. Uh, it so it handles a lot of these themes, and it handles them really, really well. And I like how it all wraps up at the end, where pretty much Woody, you know, he accepts that one day Andy will grow up, and he ain't gonna play with him anymore. But he wants to enjoy the moment while he still can. But while Andy's still a child, he wants to enjoy those years he still has left with Andy. Which is why, you know, Woody is so, like, focused on trying to get back to Andy at first. But, but he set, then he settles into his role as wanting to be with the collection. But then he convinces Jesse and Bullseye to join him to be with Andy, which they eventually do. Of course, this is what causes the prospect to be like, no, that ain't gonna happen. So yeah, you know, this, again, this so this movie is full of so much good stuff from a story standpoint. It has a lot of funny moments. The voice cast all around is fantastic. The computer animation, once again, looks great. I can't speak highly enough of Toy Story 2. I like this movie on the same level as as Toy Story 1. Of course, there's a lot more to talk about Toy Story 2. Those are just my those are just things that I thoroughly enjoyed about Toy Story 2, and that's because I'm gonna give Toy Story 2 a solid. 10 out of 10. This is another perfect 10. Love Toy Story 2. It's of equal value to Toy Story 1. It's memorable. It's funny. It's heartwarming. It's got emotional moments and it all handles it with care in a very entertaining way. And it's just a fun movie all around. So perfect 10 for Toy Story 2. I love it. Well, let me know your thoughts on Toy Story 2 in the comment section down below. Do you like Toy Story 2? Do you hate Toy Story 2? Do you think it's better than the first, or do you think the first is better than this one? I would like to know in the comment sections down below. Like this video and subscribe, and I will check you back next time for more.